We have seen this before across the city. Metal thieves ripping off homes across Detroit. But this time, someone was watching and caught the crooks with her camera. Fox News Ronnie Dow live right now in Detroit with more. Ronnie. And I'm recording you right now, Huel, because that's exactly what Donna Stinson was doing. She doesn't even live in this neighborhood. She simply came by to visit a friend. But when she saw some people taking things out of this house, she knew it wasn't right. So she pulled out her video camera and started rolling. I'm somewhat of a, I ain't going to say a snoop but I like to know what's going on. Meet Donna Stinson, a lady who doesn't take a backseat to life. She's an author, actress, paralegal, and a budding video vigilante using her camera to expose wrongdoing. It takes a village to raise a child like it takes a village to keep the village clean. Mm -hmm. So we gotta get rid of the village idiots. <laughs> 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 and clean the village. <laughs> Donna was visiting a friend in the 16,000 block of Coram Street on Detroit's east side April 9th when she noticed two suspected scrappers picking apart this vacant house. It was a sunny day in broad daylight, and there they were, stealing for all to see. Instead of waiting for police, Donna pulled out her trusty video cam and started rolling. And I'm like, why are they taking all this stuff out of here? They're taking, I mean, hot water tanks, everything that they left in there. So I'm like, let me tape this. This this does not make any sense. Yay to her and for anyone that calls in tips like that. Donna's bold actions are being admired by those that live nearby because it just might be enough to bust the crooks and keep other thieves away for good. I just hope whoever is doing that, I hope they get caught. That is just senseless, senseless crime in the city that needs to be stopped. What would you say to them? I got you. I got you. And now the police are going to get you. And now the police are going to get you. So have a nice day. <laughs> And that's exactly what Donna is hoping by sharing this video with us, is that someone out there will see this video, they will recognize those guys and turn them into the police. She's also hoping it encourages other people to stand up and take a stand against crime, whether it's their neighborhood or not. We're live on Detroit's East Side tonight. Ronnie Dahl, Fox 2 News. Now, Ronnie, she is a courageous woman. Catching the thieves is the first step. Now we've got to catch the scrap businesses that are taking this stolen property and making money from it. Yeah, very much so. You know, in fact, we had a conversation about that earlier this evening. I mean, it's hard. It's a problem that needs to be tackled on so many different levels because if they can steal this stuff and they can sell it, well, they're going to continue to do it, Huel.